There is this strange school. The students do not have to attend classes or study. The only task is to wash their faces. Every day, the girls had to go under the camera. Continuous scrubbing face for 10 minutes. They could not leave until the green light came on. If they accidentally miss the time to wash their faces, will be dragged away by security guards directly, and they will never come back. These girls were all adopted by the school as children. The instructor told them it was the end of the world outside. The air is highly toxic, so they had to take a vitamin tablet every day to detoxify it. And every year that passes, the girls would move to a higher floor. On the day they moved to the 16th floor, the instructor told them the course was over. Soon they will be adopted by a rich man to live a good life without pollution. Everyone was very excited, especially Nana, because she was the best girl in the class. But her friend Phoebe was preoccupied. She secretly told her, don't take your vitamin pills tonight. Soon it was time to take the pills. Everyone was surprised to find that today's pills were blue. Nana was a little suspicious, so she put the pills in her mouth in front of the camera. Then she quietly went to the bathroom and threw up in the toilet. As a result, she soon realized that something was wrong. When she went to bed, she said goodnight to the girl next to her as usual, but the other girl didn't answer. That's when Phoebe sat up and said no need to scream, they won't wake up, because those vitamin tablets are sleeping pills. Then there were footsteps in the hallway. Phoebe rushed back to bed. The instructor led the security guard into the dormitory. They took Nana and the other girl who were pretending to sleep. They were taken to a common room. Then the instructor brought in a middle-aged couple. They started to pick them out as if they were shopping. The male customer kept complimenting Nana on her beauty, and the female customer went to the mirror, lamenting her aging face. They finally chose another girl. Nana was carried back to her room. This night, the girls were taken away one after another. Nana took the opportunity to sneak out, only to find that all the doors were locked. She heard the instructor bargaining with the customers, and finally realized that these rich people weren't looking to adopt, but to buy them. She rushed to tell Phoebe the news. She wanted to escape from the place together. Little did she know that the truth Phoebe would find was even more horrifying. She found found out that everyone had to sleep 21 an hour a day, and there are four classes here. While they were sleeping, the girls in the other classes would wake up and go out to eat, alternating between taking pills and going to sleep, for a short period of time each day. All the girls were sleeping. This was the perfect opportunity for them to escape, but first they had to get an access card. It happened to be the day the doctor was going to give everyone their vaccinations. Nana found the doctor to be very nice. He might be able to help them, but before she could figure out how to ask, one girl suddenly suddenly passed out with a seizure, and everyone had terrible bruises on their arms. Nana went to the doctor again to ask him what was going on, but accidentally, revealing that she hadn't taken sleeping pills, and the always kind doctor immediately gave her a shot of concentrated sleeping pills. Then Nana was put in a cage by the instructor. So the doctor and the instructor were in cahoots, and the doctor is the real mastermind. Meanwhile, Phoebe comes up with an escape plan. She made a rope out of a bed sheet and pretended to sleep, waiting for the security guard to come in alone. Then she jumped on him and strangled him. She managed to get the access card. She rushed to Nana's rescue, but just then the alarm went off. Phoebe left a message of trust me, and she turned around and left. Nana was released the next day, and Phoebe had been arrested. But the access card wasn't on her. The doctor was furious. Had the instructor personally watch everyone take sleeping pills. Soon sleepiness set in. Nana stabbed herself in the hand with a hairpin, trying to stay awake. In her haze, she touched her bedside and found her access card. It turns out Phoebe had left her escape to herself. She snuck out of the dorm and attacked the instructor who was alone. She also injected her with a concentrated sleeping pill. She also gave her a taste of what it's like to be in the dark. She struggled to the top of the building. The freedom she so desperately wanted was close at hand, but she hesitated. She was going to save her friend. She uses her access card to reach the bottom of the building. It's eerie. There are steel cages everywhere, and Phoebe is locked up in the innermost cell. At the end of the cell, there is a special room, behind a translucent curtain. There were three bodies. They shuddered and pulled open the bag. The sight in front of them scared them out of their wits. This is the girl who was taken away before, but her face was no longer there. It turns out this is not a refuge of doom. It's a base for the rich to keep their faces young forever. Those vaccines they gave. The vaccines they were giving were actually for the rich women. A great sense of fear came over her quickly. Nana wanted to leave immediately, but Phoebe was determined to save all the girls. She used her access card to wake everyone up. But the funny thing is, with day after day of brainwashing. Not only did the girls not believe Phoebe, instead, 
They called security again. The moment of truth. Nana pulled out the knocked out instructor. Pulling back the hair. A twisted suture line appeared. She was also a person who had changed his face. Now everyone finally believed the horrible truth. Together we put the instructor in a metal cage. Then they went to the top. An eager girl pushed the door open first. Unexpectedly. An ear-splitting alarm sounded throughout the building. They were so scared that they ran away. But the security guards were in pursuit. Nana and Phoebe hid in a warehouse. That's when the doctor approached them and continued to compel them with lies. Because Nana's face was the most beautiful of all the girls and the most valuable. He's been waiting for 16 years for this. Hearing this, Nana raised the scalpel directly and destroyed the evil doctor's dream with her own hands. And that's when security was called to take the doctor away by force. It turns out he was just a up at two. After an unknown amount of time, the door of the warehouse was opened. The sunlight that had never been seen before fell on the faces of the two girls. They were finally saved. Face replacement. Organ replacement. The story of the end of days. Easily brainwashing these girls. Leaving them expectantly awaiting death. The story of this film takes place in a group of. Of young girls in their prime. Making it all the more chilling. 